Mike Muller, founder and CEO of Biogas2. I'm delighted to share my enthusiasm converting waste into renewable energy. Anaerobic digestion, AD, of organic waste is getting much attention nowadays. While some 8,000 AD facilities in Germany generate biogas, we have a mere 300. Since 2010, I'm invested in biogas equity AG in Munich that owns and operates a 700 kilowatt plant. In early 2012, I selected the upflow, downflow, reflow UDR bionic system that was voted best technology that year. Massachusetts is the first state that bans organic from landfill with others to follow. UDR mimics the rumen of a cow by having a fixed bed register of corrugated tubing inside the upflow and downflow tanks. Organic material gets primed with bacteria that digests the organics and creates biogas consisting of 60% methane and 39% carbon dioxide. It is typically burned in an engine generator preventing the potent greenhouse gas from escaping into the atmosphere. A biogas plant is carbon neutral and earns carbon credits. Common biogas plants have large tanks using 10% of produced power for stirring and require 30 days for digestion. UDR systems require half the electric power, half the digestion time, and half the footprint. 12-foot diameter UD tanks with each 20,000 square feet surface area for bacteria growth, better temperature control, produce 30% more biogas. Biogas prefers to own and operate plants to grow assets and earn revenues from landfill diverted waste disposal fees, selling kilowatt hours, thermal power, and valuable organic fertilizer. A 20-year agreement with engineering partner ENCO2 allows us to build biogas plants anywhere but Germany and Italy. Prefabricated UD tanks will be trucked from Ohio on site. UIS and TetraTech, DPR and Rockford Construction are primed to assure credibility and scalability. I target wastewater treatment plants as they require minimum permitting, corporate 500 cafeterias, universities, data centers, dairies, and municipalities. Clients get stable energy prices, save waste hauling fees, use valuable fertilizer for landscape and fields while supporting climate protection. I'm raising a $2 million preferred equity round and a, to attract critical staff and complete a $900,000 mono preference plant. Please support me to build 120 waste conversion plants in the next five years. Thank you.